Hey guys, Wrangler here, and you all know how I cannot stand this low rent piece of trailer trash royalty, little JC News Now, who at 55 years old is about to go back to prison because he thinks that frauditing is an excuse or some kind of a license for him to continue to break the law. You know, but keep in mind that this is somebody who lives in his mama's single wide with her and his stepdaddy drives her car even though his license is suspended and just goes around and acting a fool. But in this one, he's going to get bounced out of a courthouse, which is just funny as shell because he he makes some half-ass attempt to quote some non-existent case law. And he just, if he were any dumber, if he were any dumber, he'd be Chris Ryder. Enjoy. Hello, sir. How can we help you? All right. I'm just here to tour the building. Hang on just a second, sir. I'll be right with you. Okay. Hey, Lewis, this is John. Pardon me. Hi, folks. How can we help you? Hi. Come on through. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm here. Did you get this oh, one? Sorry. 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 You are all right. I really did. Yeah, I understand the situation. Yeah. And sorry, guys. Y'all know how I feel about the dead air and this bullshit. But here's my question. What is the point of this? I mean, seriously, who, who's been, who's seriously being oppressed in 2023 in the lobby of a courthouse? What oppression? Just curious. It says no phones in the courtrooms. That's a Missouri Supreme Court order. 16.04. That doesn't count for the rest of the building, only the courtrooms and the court clerk's office. Oh, swing and a miss, little inbreeder, because the Supreme Court has ruled that a courthouse is a non-public forum, which means, guess what? They can make you not record in any part of the building they don't want you recording in. You should probably look up the for, the damn foreign, the Forum Doctrine Act. Just look it up. And remember, Fed trumps state every time. So, the rest of the building is a busy night. Wide open. We'll see if they are. I don't know the code. Like, we just got here. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm like, I can't believe I'm still in it doing it. Mm. All right, thank you guys yeah, so much. I really appreciate you. Hey, Corporal. Yeah. I you just yes, I did. All right, put them down for you. All right, sir, how can I help you today? I just wanted to tour the building. Okay, sir, I'm sorry I can't allow you to videotape inside our building. Oh, okay, because it's a non public forum, right? You hear that, Jimmy? It's a non public forum. It's not a fucking museum, you idiot. Okay, I won't go in any courtrooms or the court clerk's office. Yeah, our sheriff is on his way up to address the situation here. No, it's hey. not going to happen, sir. Why? Uh, because the judge says we're not going to film inside the buildings. Well, the Supreme Court of Missouri says only the courtrooms and court clerk's office. Okay. That's well, I just told you. We just told you. That that is what our judge said, and that's what we're going to enforce. So it's not you're going to gonna en you're going to enforce an unlawful order. Oh, what up, I got a wooden spoon. Girl. Again, it's not an unlawful order. The Supreme Court of the United States has ruled the courthouse is a non-public forum, which means, guess what, Jimmy? That chief judge sets policies for inside those doors. Because it's a what again? That's right, non-public forum. Which means that you are shit out of luck. Hey, 
If that's the way you want to look at it, yes. It is that what that's the way it is. Well, I'm just telling you what's happening. Okay. All right. I'm going to inform you. It's a violation of my rights. Okay. And that I'm going to hold you accountable for that. Okay. You know it didn't work. Didn't work too well for the Nazis at Nuremberg. You're a bitch. First of all, your comparison is absolutely outrageous. And second, if they were anything like the Nazis, there wouldn't even be a constitution to protect them or protect you from them beating your hillbilly ass, hoping that maybe the beating would improve your IQ and your ignorance. Okay. All right. So I understand that. if I walk through, you're going to arrest me? Yes, sir. Okay. That's all I needed to hear. All right. What's your name and your badge number? My name's Captain LaRose, and I don't have a badge number. You don't? No. What's your name and badge number? Corporal Ballard. All right, thank you. Yours? Deputy Morris. You got a number? We don't have badge numbers. Got a call number? No. No. What about yours? Sir, I'm going to ask you to leave the building now and stop yes, filming. Well, can I get his badge number? No, sir. He don't have badge numbers. We explained that to you. Can I get his name? Because I'm going I'm to put can, him on the... You can go on now, sir. Thank you. Can you give me his name? Sir, you can Deputy leave Cannon. the... I'm outside of the building. Thank you. Deputy Cannon. You're, you're, Deputy you're, can. I need to let these people in, sir. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Here you are, I don't want to block the egress. All right, I'm going to hold your tyrants accountable. Thank you, sir. Yeah, get back to work. Well, I guess Jimmy will get to work when he goes back to prison, probably hand washing other men's boxers. Why? Because Jimmy's a bitch. Well, there you have it. Tyrants. Kudos to that sheriff's department for handling trash like this the way trash like this should be handled. Good job, guys. Little Jimmy. Do something better, man. Just do something else. You suck at this.